What is going on, guys? We have a couple of pretty interesting little snippets of news to discuss this morning. If you are a long-time Windows user, perhaps you're more of like an in-depth Windows user, you're probably aware of something called the Windows Insider program. Basically what this is, is it's a program that lets normal users like you or I beta test earlier preview builds of Windows and basically be able to see new features that are coming down the pipe and to test things that may not actually come to the full release of Windows. It is exactly what it sounds like. It's a beta testing service for Windows. And it's something that I've utilized on many occasions to see some features early and then bring you guys information of these early Windows features. Now, related to Surface Duo and Duo 2, I've seen this mentioned a ton over the last couple of years. Why doesn't Surface Duo have a sort of Windows Insider program that would allow Microsoft to test out new Duo features in a similar fashion? Well, honestly, I think that there's probably a couple of pretty decent reasons why that necessarily has not happened. Uh, up to date. However, it does seem as though it's something that they are at least playing around with and it may actually be coming. So this tweet here is from Gus, of course, the person who has been uh, working on Windows uh, 11 for Surface Duo and Duo 2. They were digging into the latest firmwares of Surface Duo and they encountered a few very interesting things. The first of which that I think is quite interesting is a Surface Insider program. Now you can see here on one screen, Surface Insider program ring information production. Now what that means is that the current channel that it is on is not a beta, it is the production line. Although it does look like you would be able to change that ring information to developer, canary, dog food. These are all sort of terms that are either normal to you or ones that uh, make some sense if you think about them. So that is already pretty interesting. The ability to change that ring, to change that channel, and to get different potential builds on your Surface Duo. Now I must kind of take a step back here and let you guys know, this is not something that you can use, right? Like even though he's found this stuff in here, if you change it to these different things, I don't think anything's going to happen. This is more something hidden in the back end that just isn't actually active yet. And he actually talks here about how there's a gated server check that will check the serial number of your device to determine if you can do this. So again, uh, even though he's found it, it's not functional. If we roll on here, there's also this list of settings toggles. And, and a lot of them look like almost like stuff you'd find in your developer options. They're not things that are in your developer options, but that kind of puts you in the right you know, mindset. Enable blur, background, dismiss animation. But multi-instance force hidden, that's an interesting one. Is that, is that potentially hinting at the ability down the line to have multi instances of apps. So currently we're, you know, some of us are using app cloners to accomplish this. Well, I've always thought on Surface Duo, the ability to natively clone apps, have multiple instances of apps make a ton of sense because you might want to have the same app on both screens, but two separate instances. And, you know, we had this with Edge back in the day. You could launch Edge and then launch Edge again. That was sort of a multi-instance. So are they toying around with a more ubiquitous version of multi-instances for Surface Duo that you could potentially see here being toggled off or on uh, in these settings? Perhaps this is a bit, you know, obviously all of this is very speculative, so I shouldn't say this is a bit speculative. All of this is speculative to some degree. So in addition to these things here that Gus tweeted, which you should be following Gus on Twitter so that you don't miss on uh, tweets like that. You don't miss out on these things and have to wait for me to bring them to you uh, a few hours later. He also did mention um, to me in a direct message that there is also some information there pertaining to a one-handed mode that may be being tested. I think that's a great idea for Surface Duo. I was actually just talking to my wife about this the other day, about how I was looking forward to the Pixel Fold, and I was hoping that the cover display would be more one-handable than the cover display on the Z Fold 4, really any of the Z Fold devices, because in my mind, a device like that, the cover display should be one-handable very easily, and then the tablet, you know, is two-handable. So, you have a bit of both. With Duo, you know, when you're in FOMO, that is still a very large screen. So one-handed mode does make a ton of sense. And apparently there are some flags, some information in there that makes him think that a one-handed mode is in fact coming. Now, there's actually one more thing that I want to mention here. And this is something, if I can scroll through these messages to find, that Gus had mentioned to me actually a pretty good while back. It was at the end of October, but I didn't really know what to make of it, and it wasn't enough to make its own video about. But I think if I rolled into this, it'll kind of put you in the right headspace when we talk about this. So I don't want anybody to think this is confirmation of what I'm about to tell you being absolutely true. There, you're, you're clearly seeing 
in these things. Lots of weird little flags like this, and you're understanding now, I hope, that things are being tested. Some things will be in, some things will be out, some things are holdovers. There's a lot of complicated stuff going on here, so I don't want anybody to, to hear what I'm about to say and then, like, totally bank on it, but without any more waffling, all the way back at the end of October, Gus mentioned to me that he was digging into these files in much the same way as he is now for the stuff that he just tweeted. And he was talking about how they would have little code names for Duo and Duo 2, right? You would have Surface Product ID and it would have like a 2 inside brackets or 1 to whatever. So there, there's ways that Duo... So if you look at Duo 2's firmware, you're going to see mentions of Duo 1 and potentially vice versa, but they're called out, right? So Duo 1 being Duo 1, Duo 2 being Duo 2, that is all to be expected. However, he said he started noticing devices, files rather, I should say, with code names CRS attached to them. Now, what does CRS mean? We can't be 100% sure, but apparently in the past, CRS was a way that they would abbreviate Kronos. And you may remember that Kronos was the code name for the now canceled Surface Duo Go, Surface Duo Lite that uh, Zach Bowden over at Windows Central kind of blew the lid off of several months back. It was a cheaper variant of Surface Duo 2, basically had the camera on the back, um, but you know things were cut down. The materials were cut down a little bit to make this thing cheaper, and like I said, it was canceled. That was Kronos. So there's some stuff in that firmware that is still potentially calling back to CRS or Kronos. Now, is this just a holdover from before? Is it just stuff that hasn't been fully scrubbed out, that hadn't been noticed? That is absolutely possible. Is it also possible that Kronos is in some way still in development or that that code name is being used on a currently in development device? This is also possible, but we really can't say either way with any confidence at all. Now, things do continue to be interesting after this because there is another one of these places where they reference a Surface product ID with a number, but the number is not one or two. They actually reference the numbers three and four. Now, there have long been rumors that the Surface team was working out the design of Surface Duo 3 and that they were trying to decide between a folding OLED and a dual screen device. So, is this referential to those two prototypes. Is one of them Kronos? Is one of them a folding OLED? Is it possible that Kronos still lives as a cheaper version with dual screens to be launched alongside a folding OLED version of Surface Duo 3, a Pro version and a Go version, if you will? Again, we are like well into speculation here. We are basically, literally all we have is CRS and then the numbers three and four, okay? So we're extrapolating from here. So again, don't take any of this, uh, you know, to heart necessarily pinch of salt with all of it, but I did think that it was very interesting, and when coupled with some of this other stuff, maybe people would have their heads in the right place uh, to receive this potential information. As usual, massive shout out to Gus for digging in and finding this stuff. I can't report it to you if he does not find it and then share it with us or with myself, with the world as they have uh, been so kind to do. Very, very interesting stuff. Lots of stuff still coming to Surface Duo, right? Like the idea that Duo is, is a deadline, it's canceled, whatever. Clearly, it's just not the case. There's more hardware that is definitely in development. Duo 3 is still in development. It is still coming, and they are still iterating on the software a ton. There are a ton of new features being tested, and perhaps, 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 this Surface Insider program will go from being something they're using behind the scenes to something that they're using uh, publicly for us to test features next year. Evidently, this is something that they are actually aiming to accomplish, and it just not has not happened yet. Guys, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on more. I'll see you on the next one, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.